I think we're ready to put this back together. Okay. We've got it from scratch. I've taken this one off. Okay, I can take this. I've already put this bushing on there. And I'm going to put this back in the tank now. I'm going to reach down in there. And put that like that. And incidentally, I have to have this twisted in the right configuration. And I'll go over that after a little while. Okay? But that's going to go in there like that. I could have put that in now, or I could have put this in first. You know, like that. Push this through there. Get my new nut on here. Okay. And I'm not going to make that too tight just yet. Okay, so far so good. Now before I tighten up that nut, <laughs> I got my trusty channel locks here. I'm going to try to tighten that with that. I, I went, to the, went to the hardware store and I was trying to find if they had a special um, wrench to fit it in there and to tighten that up um, a little bit different than channel locks. Cause I, Remember how tight that was when I took it off? I had to cut this rim out of there and get right in there. Well, you just have to make this snug. You don't have to make it so tight that you can't do it with the, the uh, channel locks. Now, I'm going to be able to do it with the channel locks. I might do it this way. I might get a screwdriver or something and pry it in there that way and twist it that way. Or, you know, get it like this and pull it, whatever. But... Um, before I do that, I have to make sure that it's configured in the right way. The, uh, the tree portion, I call it, that's on the inside of that, you know? So when you pull that apart, you want to you see how that goes, because sometimes they're facing up and down where, the, where the, the flap is straight here and the back of it is straight. Well, in this, in this particular case, it's at an angle a little bit, because this one has three screws remember so I can't put it straight because this screw might be in the way okay if there was just two uh, screws to attach this I would be able to do it that way but because this one's here because I took note of that you play this video back and you'll see that it's uh, a different angle and I'll show you that here in a minute okay sometimes it matters is there a right or wrong way? Sometimes the answer is yes. This is what I'm talking about. Let me tilt this tank up so you can take a look at it. Now see this portion here. See how I got it kind of at an angle? Where this is over here in between those two, where the two bolts are going to go? That's about where it was before. Now if you have just two bolts you want to take this and have it straight like that. Do you see what I mean? See how it's straight here? Well, if I did that right now, it's right in the way of that screw, the bolt back there. You know, in case I ever have to put a screwdriver on it later or something, let's say. So see, if I keep it over like that, then I can reach in there and uh, tighten that with a screwdriver, loosen it up with a screwdriver, or just hold, hold the bolt so I can tighten it from underneath. You know what I mean? So make sure you check that out to see if it's at an angle this way or straight on your toilet. So that when you get ready to screw this back down, you know exactly where it goes. I'd hate for you to put that incorrect. Now that I have the tree positioned properly, I'm going to try to tighten this up with my fingers as tight as I can get it. Okay. The last thing I want to do is mar up this when I get ready to tighten this up. Now, with my channel locks, I can leave it like right here and just kind of twist it like that a little bit. 
Oh, I gotta... It's twisting everything. Huh. I'll make sure that thing stays straight, don't I? Okay. You know, if I had a helper, I wouldn't have to worry about it, would I? I could have somebody hold that while I'm, while I'm twisting this nut. Now to twist it tighter, I could hold it like that. I could put a screwdriver in here, kind of pry down on it. Maybe even take my, my pliers, you know, and grab this and, and kind of help do that with, with two hands and try to tighten it that way. But I've got to do it in such a fashion to where I just I just want to get that pretty snug because all that's doing is holding this in place and it's holding the other in place and I got to get it snug enough at least so that the other one is pulled in tight enough so it's not going to leak water obviously but um, you know I'm also going to get more of a compression once I put the screws in there and bolt it that's going to suck this down tight to the toilet but uh, We'll see what we can do about getting this a little bit tighter now. Man, I wish I had a helper here. Now, if you saw what was going on as I was trying to make this tighter, this is kind of pooching out a little bit because I've got this nut. I'm trying to tighten it right on the rubber gasket and it didn't come with one of these little flat washers. And this came, this was in on the old one. And I think I'm going to reuse that. And all that's going to do is help me to get this nut tighter because it's going, to, it's going to want to slide around this rather than the rubber. You know what I mean? I, mean, I, I guess I should have bought one of these at the store, but uh, that's not really going to have a cause for making anything leak. It's just going to make it so I can get this nut on there a little bit tighter. All right, so I'm going to take this off. nut off of here. I got it on there pretty snug already. I'm going to have to get that off of there and I'll put this on. See if I can't get it in there a little bit better. It probably would have been fine the other way too. Sometimes Joe has a tendency to go overboard but in this in this case, I think it's warranted. Okay, I'll reposition this, make sure I'm going where I want it to be. And in fact, that's making it slide nice and easy. See if I can't get that a little bit tighter. All right. I think I got it pretty tight. Now, if somebody was here, they could hold this for me. You know, in here, in the tank, and I could really wrench down on here, but you know, if I try to do this. And this, see, just by myself, it wants to, wants to twist the whole thing. So, I think I'm just going to have to get it as tight as I can. And make sure this is positioned properly. If that's not positioned exactly, I can reach in there and try to back it off a little bit. Or take my nut and, and turn it a little bit and twist it around. Or whatever. Okay. All right. We got that now. I think. Don't mind that. I was just seeing if that nut was tight. That's for the water fill valve, and, and that's already in here. So I'm not. 
I'm not really concerned about that right now. The main thing is I'm concerned about this and I, I think I've got that nice and snug as a bug in a rug. I think we're ready to take this back over to the toilet now and set it on there. You know, for the sake of argument, I guess I can put these new bolts in here now. So I don't have to do that after I get it, the toilet down this tank on top. You know, I could push these in now and have that sticking out. You know, it might be it might be easier to get that ready now before I get it up there, you know. That way I can use two hands like this and get it all get it all set. Yeah, wow. Looks like that knot's gonna come out pretty far. Well, I'm gonna put I guess maybe I'll put that well I know that nobody's ever gonna see that back one, right? And I don't think anybody's going to see the left one either. They might see this one as they walk in through the door. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Give me my thought process on that. Now here's where the toilet is. See, if you're over here, my only thought was you might see the bottom edge of the nut coming through. But you're, you're really not. Here, now I'm over here by the door. When I'm down the hallway, I'm going to kind of squeeze through there like that. Now, if the bolt was sticking down an inch and a half as opposed to an inch like the other one, do you think you would see it? I don't think you will. Now, if you were down here, you might see it. Actually, I think it's going to be all right. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the long bolts, not worry about it. Yeah, so I'll have to to work on these screws and get them through all the way like that okay I can, I'll put these other two in and get it all set I'll be right back <laughs> that was no easy task in itself just to put those down now I'm all out of breath I'm trying to fish those in there and screw them and stuff okay I've got that all set now all right, now I guess I can go and take that over to the toilet. Whew.